I'm stuck in a dust storm and now look at this queue I have to join. What to do? Behave yourself. Don't tell me to do anything. Don't try to teach me. You are getting You're here. trying to teach me. You're trying to tell me what if to do. If you are here, you are bound by the rules and regulations of the metro. Try to understand. Have you got any wine? Just apply it. <laughs> Behave yourself. Okay, no problem. Totally insane. The power's gone out, so I can't really, really see much right now. Damn, the guy was annoying back there. He's just filming a little segment as I exited the, the metro and, you know, he's standing there telling me the law like he's some, some police officer or something. It's like, dude, just worry about yourself and don't worry about me. Now that I've had some time to calm down and to read the Delhi Metro rules and regulations, the reason you can't film in the Delhi Metro is because they charge Bollywood films to shoot there. And it costs 1.5 lakh per hour or 36 American dollars a minute to film in there. The reason isn't for security or anything really important like that. If this guy had a problem with me filming, he should have gone and complained to the staff like he said he would do and like I told him to do. But you know, instead he decided to follow me and harass me further. No one has the right to harass someone else and try and enforce the law themselves. That's the job of the police and the security forces here in India. And as you can see behind me, I'm standing right behind the Delhi police headquarters. What he was doing was similar to moral policing, which is a big problem here because people have been taking the laws into their own hands and thinking it's their right to enforce the laws based on their morals or their interpretation of the law. And it's, it's just totally wrong. Why are you throwing garbage on the road? Why are you throwing garbage on the road? Yes, why are you throwing plastic on the road? Please be careful, you can't just throw plastic around like that on the streets. Use a dustbin. It was really stupid of me to argue with these guys because these guys have a really short fuse and when someone doesn't obey them, they can get violent. So unless you're stubborn like me, don't argue with these guys and just, just get away from them as fast as you can. And on a higher level, when you fight with these guys, you lose a bit of peace. You create that memory of the fight and it comes back to you sometimes and it spoils your mood. So I think it's always best to follow Gandhi's advice on non-violence. And non-violence is both physical and verbal as well. You know, that's why I'm filming here. That's why Gandhi's behind me now, because he reminded me that I shouldn't have been so stubborn and I should have just avoided this guy altogether and, and not fought with him. I mean, you know, it's hard to be perfect, right? One of my goals here is to help foreigners travel to India safely. So if you're at all worried about traveling to India, check out my quick start safety guide at indiasurvivalguide.com and it's gonna help you travel confidently in India. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and click the bell icon if you wanna know when I go on a live stream.